Hi everyone, this is WebOS Roundup. Today I'm going to be looking at Preware. Now this isn't a review because I already have sta stated my love for this app. It is something that I think every owner of a Pre or a Pixie should have on their phone. So if you're looking for a review, there it is. But the goal of this video is to walk you through a little bit of Preware, get you comfortable with it so that you will uh, give it a chance because I think, again, that everyone should have this. Now first you're going to notice that when it's loading here, it does take a moment to get up and running. Now don't be alarmed, that's just it getting all of its goodness from its various sources. Now how to get Preware onto your, uh, onto your WebOS device is a little bit of an effort. It's, it's gotten a lot better over the months, but uh, there is a bunch of links out there. I've got several of them on the written portion of this. Uh, this is Preware. So what you can see here we're first looking at is the opening page. You have package updates, available packages, install packages, and list of everything. Package updates is going to show you things that have been updated or need to be updated uh, that you've already installed, whether that's a patch or it's another application. Even some apps that you got from the app catalog will show up here. Uh, this update all button doesn't work yet. It will be in the next release as uh, Rod Whitby has shown on, in his interview with me the other day. Um, so that is the package updates. Available packages I'll get to in a minute. You can see that's where most of the goodies are. Install packages shows you everything that I have currently on this phone. Now I've got it relatively tweaked out. I've got several patches. I've got a few services and I got my theme of course. Um, I have an unknown here which means I don't have some option turned on. Um, but uh, we're not going to mess with that right now. And then list of everything. Now list of everything is very nice because it allows you to search. Uh, you can search just about anywhere in Preware, but when you have everything showing, it will find anything. So you just start typing in, you know, start typing in a random word here, and you'll start to find all of the different things that have been updated and uh, messed with. You can see they're ordered uh, by default by how new it is. You can also do A to Z over here. Um, we go back to available packages, you'll see all of the different things that Preware has to offer. Now there's a lot to it, uh, and the written portion of this uh, article will go into a lot more detail, but really where you're going to be focusing is the applications, the patches, and the themes. You can see those are the ones that have the most numbers anyways. Applications are uh, essentially the same thing you find in the app catalog. Now these are homebrew, that, so they are of different uh, qualities. Some are great, some are a little rough around the edges. Um, but you can see there's a whole lot of different types of things in here. We've got everything. We've got our standard weather apps to productivity, system utilities, Things you're not really going to see a lot on the app catalog, but some are very, very useful. The battery monitor in particular is one I like a lot. Here's a dictionary, here's file coaster, GDAO Pro, which basically is your uh, Google Voice app. Um, so there's a lot of really, really good apps on here. Um, there's also, this is used very regularly by people who are trying to get onto the app catalog and they're releasing to Homebrew for beta testers. And uh, so they'll let you get their app for free for a little while. If we back up here, we'll get to my favorite thing, which is the patches. Now, the patches are different than that because what they're changing is WebOS how, and how it works. If you don't like something about WebOS or you want to change something, then you find a patch. Like for instance, you can see here, I'm showing the date up on the top of my uh, phone. And that's because I have a patch that does that. You can have a patch that will change your little battery icon to show you a percentage. You can have a... Uh, software com uh, keyboard come up here. There, um, there is just about everything you can imagine tweaks to the browser. There were even some that actually let you overclock your phone. Now those were removed because they were a little uh, scary. You can see here's the dangerous ones. You probably don't want to mess with those too much. Uh, but there's just about everything you can imagine. You can change your email. You can add more sync times. You can enable landscape stuff. Anything you can think of that w you would like your WebOS phone to do, they probably have a patch for it. And personally, what I like is the one that allows me to get past the login every time I touch the phone because I'm hooked into Exchange. That's been a, a very uh, handy little thing for me. Now, themes is how you make your phone pretty. 
you can see there's a million different categories here and if you're interested in something chances are there's a theme for it now mine is called boof I don't know if that's how you pronounce it but it's B-U-U-F and that's the one that you see here um, you can see that I've got a different backdrop which isn't a big deal but what's all, what's fun is you can see my icons are different than what they normally would be so here's my pre wear looks very different here's my twee and whoops we accidentally loaded him you can see um, that we have all, everything all your standard icons are different than what they would normally be and so that's that's pretty interesting um, you also will see if I go to like my phone app that the backgrounds are all different than they normally would be uh, so those that's what a theme will do for you lots of fun little things there um, again you can choose which category it is or what feed it came from there's a lot of different feeds that's what you were seeing loading at the beginning um, so this is uh, pre-wear I again highly recommend everyone get this and use it and love it and really see what your phone can do this has been webOS Roundup Hope you guys will visit us at webosroundup.com. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.